Jonathan Martinez takes on Adrian Yanez in another banger fight in the middle of the main card. Yanez is in a bounce back spot against Martinez before the recent pay-per-view loss to Rob Font. Yanez was on an absolute tear. Six wins in a row, five straight performance bonuses, landing a knockdown in five of six of those fights. Martinez remains on a tear in his own right and has not lost a fight after entering the UFC going on an average run of four and three in his first seven UFC bouts. Martinez has now found his form winning five straight and earning the very slight nod in the matchup with an implied win chance of around 53%. His record comprised of eight TKO KOs, two submissions. Martinez, a very dangerous and strong fighter. Martinez, in an interesting stylistic matchup, Yanez is sharp on the feet. His stand-up is some of the cleanest in the bantamweight division. I made a bet breakdown for Rob Font versus Yanez. I think I actually picked that one wrong. I think I was on the Yanez side. But nonetheless, Martinez is striking is more Muay Thai based. He's awesome with elbows. He's awesome with knees as we saw in the Cub Swanson fight. Plus, when you look at his top control, he is a tough outing for anybody. This fight is going to be a good one. Looking at the fight in the macro, both have had a high strength of schedule. Martinez took outside Nurmagomedov in his last fight as a near 3-1 to one underdog. That's what's putting him on the map, in my opinion, to be the favorite here. And he showed some heart in that fight. We saw early in his career, he might have lacked it a little bit, but now he was down the first round in significant fashion. He came back in one round, two, and three, defeating Nurmagomedov again as a huge underdog. This fight is going to be awesome. And originally, I was thinking... Just looking at this as a book cover, I thought, man, I can't believe Martinez is the favorite. I'm going to hammer Yanez, but you look at his recent run, he's looked really, really good. His striking has improved. His heart has improved. This fight for me is such a hard one to look at and pick somebody to win, in my opinion. But the form both guys have been showing in their recent fights is something special. And this fight has all the potentials to steal the entire show with a fight of the night and an all-time great performance. I mentioned the hard and recent showings from Jonathan Martinez. We haven't seen in the past, and we know the type of output both fighters can have if this stays on the feet and neither guy gets finished. I'm actually deep diving into the stats on this one to find my best bet and it's going to be looking at that Martinez over 51 and a half significant strikes at minus 120 on bet 365. I originally thought Adrian Yanez was going to win this fight and it is a pick em on the odds but as I see more and more of Jonathan Martinez's recent five fight win streak I think more and more that he has the potential to win this fight. Martinez or Yanez could finish this fight. There's no doubt in my mind that that could happen but over two and a half is favored and over one and a half is even more favored and I think that Martinez just needs about a round and a half to two rounds to get this over 51 and a half significant strike number so I'm gonna ride with that at almost even money I'd actually lay both guys but I don't want to risk that opportunity of somebody actually getting finished Yanez will be working the leg kicks but Martinez is Muay Thai and boxing and range I think he should be able to land the 51 and a half and not get knocked out and I think Yanez's chin though he was finished finished by Rob Font in their most recent fight. We don't know how that's going to impact him in this one. I do think that Yanez can go the full 15 minutes as well as Martinez. So give me Martinez over 51 and a half strikes, significant strikes in this contest.